hello what's up guys welcome to the new video today we will learn that how to find the determinants in the matrices now here is the example we have a matrix a having the order 2 by 2 it has two rows and two columns now for finding the determinants we will cross multiply the elements we will multiply 5 by 6 and 8 by minus 1 how you can see 5 multiply by 6 and then minus minus 1 multiply by 8 the resultant will be 30 minus that is minus 1 multiply by 8 minus 8 so 30 minus minus plus 8 30 plus 8 will be 38 now we will come to know that how to find out the determinant of the matrix having the order 3 by 3 first of all we will consider the first row 4 1 7 and we will put down all of these three numbers just like plus 4 minus 1 and then plus 7 first of all we will consider this plus 4 then we will hide these this column and this row the remaining will be minus 5 3 1 and 2 minus 5 3 1 and 2 minus 1 and then we will hide that corresponding column and the corresponding row the remaining will be 2 3 6 and 2 okay similarly then the last will be plus 7 then we will hide the corresponding row and the corresponding column now we will find out the determinant in the same way as we have found out the determinant just like in the 2 by 2 matrix okay we will multiply these minus 5 into 2 minus 3 into 1 that is will be minus 10 minus will be of the formula and 1 and 3 multiply by 3 will be 3 similarly minus 1 2 by 2 will be 4 minus 6 by 3 will be minus 18 plus 7 2 multiplied by 1 will be 2 minus 6 multiplied by 5 minus 5 will be minus 30 so the answer will be the answer will be 186 now this was the method 1 of finding out the determinant of the matrix 3 by 3 now we are doing the same question and solving that with the method 2 okay now in this method what we do that first of all we write down all of those elements like 4 2 6 1 minus 5 1 3 7 3 2 in the same way and after that we will rewrite the first column and the second column outside okay just like you can see 4 2 6 4 2 6 1 minus 5 1 1 minus 5 1 what we will do that we will multiply the diagonal elements we 4 multiply minus 5 multiply by 2 it will be minus 40 similarly 1 multiply 3 multiply 6 will be 18 7 multiply by 2 multiply by 1 it will be 14 and similarly we will take the diagonals in the opposite direction that is 7 multiply minus 5 multiply by 6 that will be minus 210 4 multiply by 3 multiply by 1 that will be 12 and similarly 1 
multiply by 2 multiply by 2 it will be 4 now here you can see that minus 40 plus 18 plus 14 now the remaining will be minus 8 similarly minus minus 10 minus 210 minus 12 minus 4 the answer will be 194 so 194 minus 8 it will be 186 so here you can see the answers both of the answers by both the uh, both the methods are matching so thank you very much for watching this video